This is the Kalkoff Tasman Tour bike, and uh, it's it's a pretty cool bike. I'm actually checking this out. I'm at the New Wheel in San Francisco, and we've got these you know hills everywhere, and so they focus on bikes that are capable hill climbers, and this one certainly is. It uses a mid-drive system down there, keeps the weight really low to the ground, and it's kind of set up to be a city bike. Let me just jump into the features. So there's a 250-watt geared mid-drive system right there, and it actually pulls on the chain. And so as you're sort of leveraging whichever gear you've chosen in the rear, that's a Nexus 8-speed geared, internally geared hub right there. So you, the cool thing about it is you can shift that at stops, like at a stop sign. Um, it's a lot more, uh, you know, it's protected from the elements. It's raining right now, you know, and uh, it's not going to get rusty as easily and, and it's just kind of easier to, to maintain so that's nice and this one actually has a fully enclosed chain you can see over there so the chain guard is really nice it's got front and rear fenders front and rear lights and they're actually powered by a dynamo on that front hub um, this is a German bike and they have certain you know laws and requirements over there so it's top speed 15 miles per hour a little bit lower but from from a safety and quality perspective I mean this bike is, is very legit and it's got these oversized rim brakes right there kind of the V brake style um, that that work really really well give you great stopping power they can squeak a little bit more if you're you know if it's if it's wet and stuff but uh, very capable in terms of powering that that motor we've got a 36 volt 11 amp hour battery pack so it's a little bit smaller than the other Kalkoff I was looking at um, but you know it's quite quite capable you're gonna get decent range and because of that mid drive system I was talking about um, and and sort of the speed limitations and the fact that this is a pedal assist, you know, there's no throttle on this thing. So the way it works is you just turn it on, and then you pick one of these pedal assist levels. And that's it. That's, you know, there's there's no display or anything. Um, but there's really nothing to get in your way, except maybe this bell, which is kind of unique. The other one had a similar bell. Um, it's just different style stuff. You know, it's always neat to see kind of the European take, because they've been doing electric bikes for a while longer than here in the U.S., got this adjustable neck so on the fly without a tool you do that and it can you know the handlebars are completely adjustable and you've got this nice upright ride right where you're not leaning over you got your heads up looking for cars you know and, and so again this is just like it's it's all about utility it's even got a built-in uh, lock here for the rear so you can kind of lock the bike down in addition to locking it to um, you know a bike rack or something like that it's got a nice rack here so just you know it's a cool bike it's it's easy to appreciate the utility of this thing it's not the fastest and it's not quite the lightest either but you know all that weight is kept low to the ground and evenly distributed and it's like a thirty four hundred dollar bike so you know if you were a commuter and you, and you were looking for an e-bike this one has a shock it's got the lockout it's got the soft seat and it's, you know, it's a German-made bike. It's going to last. I should say this is um, branded as Kalkoff right now, but I'm told that they're going to change this to Focus next year in 2014. So kind of the same bikes, but for the U.S., they'll be called Focus. And they're part of one of the biggest um, sort of bike distributors in the U.S. Or, I'm sorry, in Europe. Uh, so their stuff is, uh, they've been doing it for a while. They're making it work. So listen for the motor when I put the camera down there. You can hear it working, but it's not that loud, and we're climbing a hill right now, for sure. And I'm not really even having to work very hard. You know, we're in San Francisco here, it's raining, and I'm staying dry, my pants are clean. I'm not having to overexert myself. That's what this bike is about. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I'm, I'm really digging the Kalkoff stuff. For more info on this bike, for the full written review, comments and stuff, check out electricbikereview.com and I'll see you there.